My research workflow is pretty simple. Uh, if the PDF is not OCR'd, I will OCR it with DevonThink, and then I will usually read and highlight on my iPad using PDF Expert, and then I will open it up on the Highlights app and extract my annotations and uh, notes from reading, and then I will export those annotations and notes to Evernote um, for further research when I start writing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to OCR the document with uh, DevonThink. I'm just going to drag this in here, right click, and then convert to a searchable PDF. And now that that's done, let's open it up here. And as you can see, you can highlight the text and you would be able to search it for different words because it knows what these words are and it just makes the PDF experience that much better. And my, personally, I would not be able to live without OCRing every PDF that, uh, that comes in. So I'm gonna close this and next I'm gonna open up this uh, PDF on the iPad. So I have the iPad here and I'm just going to open up and we see we have my document here. And so let's say I want to highlight this sentence and let's change this color to yellow. So yellow is just going to be general highlighting and then for example, let's say I disagree with this statement, which actually I have no idea what it says right now, but we are going to, we're going to change this to red. And then let's say I really like what he says here. So I'm going to highlight this green. And so this is what I'm going to, I'm going to use this in my paper and cite it. And then let's just say, I really like this but I, I want it for uh, reference later. So I'm gonna highlight, we're gonna change this to a purple. So from here, I'm going to take this PDF and then I'm gonna open it up in highlights and it's actually going to create uh, from the highlights, the text in a separate document um, under each of these headings of general for the yellow, disagreement for the red, use, so use in my paper for the green, and then reference with the, uh, with the purple. All right, so here we are. We are going to open this PDF in highlights. So first I'm going to just open it up in preview. I'm just gonna show you that, you know, here are the highlights, you can do this. And one of the nice things about the highlights app is that it doesn't really matter what program that you make your highlights and notes. So actually I'm going to add a comment here and let's just say, this is a comment for the video. And we're just gonna leave it, leave it right there. And then let's save this. And now let's open it up in the Highlights app. All right, so let's go ahead and make this full screen here. So as you can see, this is, in my opinion, just absolutely awesome. So as you can see, the general is the yellow, and you have your highlight here. And currently, I have it categorized by uh, topic, but you could also have it go in the order of the highlights. Um, so the general is the yellow, and so since we OCR'd it, you see that it took the text, and it's right here. So that is absolutely awesome. And you can see that there's this 15 and that's because sometimes with the OCR, the footnotes um, get kind of wacky, but uh, for the most part, I mean, this is absolutely, um, absolutely awesome. And so then you have the comment here and you have it right here. And then there's, this is a comment for the video. And so comments are italicized. Um, the highlights are what's called a block quote. Uh, the disagreement in red is right here. Um, use in paper is the green. And then reference is the purple right here. And I did that all by 
uh, in my settings, you can set the annotations by color, and so yellow, and, uh, and the, it actually calls it pink for some reason, but uh, wh whatever. And so you can, you can change all this. This is all um, my custom, custom in here. So now if this was a multiple page document, um, the page number would be here and I'd actually be able to click it and it would take me right to the page, but this is, this is not. So I'm actually going to change this. So you have the view here and if you click edit, so this is the markdown part of the highlight. So this is actually what it's writing in, but it shows here. So think of it as kind of a, kind of like a web page where you have HTML on the back and then what you see is uh, something nice and pretty. You don't see the code. So we're going to call this title. Um, test for video author Brian Grimshaw and so then if I wanted to say what page number this is actually on so um, when I go back and look at the reference you know these references over here I will know exactly what page if I want to pull up the PDF again um, so for this general one I'm gonna just type in here page 141 um, disagreement is the same and then use is actually on page 140 and that's the same for the reference and this way I just know exactly where where to find it so if we click view we notice that the the page numbers are here and it doesn't mess up anything on the PDF and now we are ready to export it to Evernote uh, to save in my research folder for a particular paper. So click the share button here. We're going to hit Evernote. And you have the name, the name of the article, my name, and all your annotations. And in my opinion, this is pretty awesome.